Okay. <clears throat> Myself and my boyfriend have been going through a lot lately. Um, this is, is this the UK? What the f is this? Boss! Are you undercover behind that Cynthia's account? Did you recommend this? Last okay. For us. We're really, okay. really hanging in. Let's go back, let's go back. No more trolling. Okay. Mm. That head is beautiful. Myself and my boyfriend have been going. Is it me? Like, does he have abs on his head? Like, lately, um, this is the last leg for us. We're really, really hanging in in our relationship. I've Show seen my. a for a social experiment, and I think that it's best we both come here and get some help. I like her makeup. You made me want to. Why they got this slow mo going on? This man got abs on his head for three years now. Okay. Just like everyone else, we've had our ups and downs. You know, things happen, but. Coming to therapy with a camera for some social experiment, that's just, it's a red flag, to be fair. Mm. And Damn, now, like, he knows my perspective on this. Mm -hmm. I prefer we go to a church and we sit down with a pastor in a corner. But, you know, us getting to this extent where we're actually here for a social experiment, it's just, it doesn't make sense. I think it's going to go south. Like, I'm 90% sure, but at the end of the day, I'll just say, look, I told you so. I'm not gonna lie, I would not be comfortable going to therapy with people to see. Like, people watching, knowing that's gonna go on YouTube, I, I would not do that. I'm not gonna be vulnerable for a hundred, one of a hundred people. Hi, Denise. Come in, sit down. Hello, Paul. How is the traffic? Terrible. Oh, we're it? here. Oh. We made it. My name's Denise, and I'm your therapist today. Have you ever been to therapy before? Never. We've never been. I did go online. I read how important it is about, you know, um, having premarital therapy, counselling. And I do believe myself and Paul um, are in dire need of some help. I wouldn't say we've deteriorated to a point of I love term, the lip but gloss. at the end of the day, we are, we're progressing in our relationship. She found I'm really happy. Okay. So, Paul, um, thank you I for joining lip gloss. us. Have you that man look mad. His head is just shiny. You are looking to to get out of this this therapy session. I literally, I have no idea. I'm curious to find out. Mm. Okay, that's great. Well, it's great that you're here. So, uh, shall we start? So, of course, this isn't my first time on camera. I'm very comfortable in front of a camera. Um, I understand Paul isn't. I didn't bring him here to embarrass him, though. This. It's kind of like shock therapy. Mm. It might shock him into kind of seeing that we need help, that we've actually got problems within our relationship. I'm going to ask Jeremy to just start us off. Mm. Um, what would you like to start off with? This is shock therapy. Um, I, okay, I want to... I, I love you. You do know that, right? And I feel as though mm. we are... We've got different... Um, views of life so to me paul is very image he puts too much emphasis on how people perceive us as a couple um how he's perceived as an individual that lace is disgusting individual and how i'm perceived as an individual currently in our relationship we're doing a lot of patching it's pissing me off of really like fixing no 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 when you go on a camera you have to make the lace darker than your skin because this the, the no. issues Okay, Paul, do you feel the same way? I'm literally blown away. Like, I haven't even heard this before. What, what, what's, do you want to give more context? And his lips are so pink. Like, what the hell? Tiny bit okay. Paul, for example, has a lot of friends. He has affluent friends. He feels like he has to fit in. He has what? Which of friends. He has affluent friends. Affluent? Like what? Aff affluent? Affluent friends. Okay. He has to fit in. I need subtitles, Which I'm sorry. He, he might fit I can't hear without the subtitles. But when it comes to finances, he doesn't necessarily fit in. So if we're looking at percentage-wise and when they go out and what they spend, they can afford it. We can't. But Paul will do it anyway. And then he'll spend the next week or two chasing the bag he's blown um, which now leaves me in a deficit of love. So there's neglect going on in our household. All right, so we literally just got... I'm not going to lie. Why couldn't she mention that to him before? Like, why couldn't she mention that to him before getting on this therapy? Like, why did you... Okay, 
I, I don't care about this show, all right? But, like, why would you not try to talk? Like, you didn't try to communicate with him, and you just brought him to YouTube? This this is this seems a little bit embarrassing. Like you did he said it's his first time hearing it. If you never mentioned it to him, how would he know to fix it? Like, how would he even if you told him and he didn't fix it, then you go and go extreme. But how why would you not communicate with him and then go to the extreme? Like straight to the extreme like that? Like, come on. Here, like we haven't been here for five minutes. Trauma's talking about finance to the bloody Denise, someone that we don't even know. Now, first of all. There is no man that's out there with multiple accounts, crypto accounts, mm. high interest accounts, that's gonna sit down and show his girl his balance. So she doesn't even know the financial situation first. So hang on, let me just let Paul um, speak. Her name is Choma. The image and the going out and uh, you know, chasing the bag, as Shoma just said. No well, the only, the only reason why I said she didn't mention it to him Cause me, if I mention something to you and I tell you it, and you say you never mention it, as a woman, as myself, I'm telling you, yes, I did. She never said she did. She let him say that. She let him say like, yeah, I never. You never mentioned this before. She didn't. She didn't say no. I have. So it's like, chill my something wrong. I I actually think she's right, but let let, let me break it down for you. Oh, you think she's right? I'm happy. And I'm humble enough to be the brokest man in a room full of millionaires. Do That's you know a why? lie. No, it's not. Okay. Do you know who would have the most to benefit in that type of situation? You would. So that's practically how I've been able to exponentially grow my income, basically. He's taking the whole fake it till you make it to another extent. Because at the end of the day, I'm not naive to know that you are treated how you're perceived. However, be yourself. Um, with the whole spending above your means, should I say, yes, we can afford it. I'm not saying we can't, because he's the first person to speak about finances, and we need to save, and we need to do this, and we need to do that. But as much as, yeah, I purchased nice things, Paul does a lot of the spending. And in the past, we've had situations where he's invested, and there's been no returns. So I don't feel like I need to suffer at the expense of his investing and putting himself in positions to get deals when not all the time it works out. And I, we are, we're together, do you know what I mean? We're in a relationship. We're not business partners. Mm. So I, I'm suffering for nothing. Mm. Do you feel that it's an equal situation? She's, she just said she's suffering for nothing. OK. So am I nothing? That's not what I said. It's like you, your comprehension. This is why we're here, because anytime I bring up at home, he dismisses it. Really? Mm. Okay, you're, you're not comprehending what I'm okay, saying. Okay, okay. I've lost, just literally just explained mm. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but suffering is that lace, but the lace is pissing me off. You've got that bit. Like, Paul's. He I mean, takes what he I, I don't know why she's doing this. Like, all men do that. Like, you'll be sending someone. Like, this is why when you communicate with a man, you say one point and you leave the rest. Make sure that point is done and you move on to the next. Wait, she's over there talking about da 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 da, -da and then you're going to hit him with that. You think he's going to hear every? He forgot everything else you said. You got to drop the bomb, keep the bomb there, let it explode, and then move on to the next bomb. You can't just say bomb, 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 bomb. And then he's going to pick and choose which bomb is the biggest bomb, and he's going to answer to the biggest bomb. Like, you knew that already. He, take, he hears what he wants to hear, and he sees what he wants to see. Bro, I'm not dismissing it right now, right? You've been with this man forever. You know this man. No, Come on now. I from anywhere, but you're here. Let's have a conversation, right? So when we first started dating, um, she was happy with, you know, the drive, the ambition. You know, me taking, you know, calculated risk here and there and gaining rewards. She's the first person to come and, you know, say, mm. oh, congratulations, babe. Let's celebrate together. But then I've actually kept the same energy. And now it seems like she doesn't really have the same energy. So who is the person that's falling off? OK, so in other words, I'm a hater. Because <laughs> well, I still, I still would um, celebrate your wins. No, that's true. But the only thing is, let me give you an example, right? Not uh, the so girlfriend being a hater. I have access to a good number of private members clubs. Uh, this is through the clients of mine. I train um, high net worth individuals, um, you know, celebrities, you name it. Now, <sighs> with these membership clubs, obviously it's not everyone that's, you know, invited. Well, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to need 
I'm gonna need to see numbers because if they're talking about a couple hundreds or like 500, I need to see the numbers of what they're talking about. Like, how much exactly is he spending? Because what's I going feel on like here? That kind of affects Choma. Whereas before, if we were going to like, you know, like a normal type of, yeah, average, no, maybe not average Joe, but you know, the usual, then I'll kind of be, oh, babe, you know, come along. But when I'm actually, you know, grafting and chasing the bag, as she said, I don't really feel like she needs to be present and she actually doesn't have an invite anyway, so. Okay, that, that's not what we're, I'm not, I'm not upset that I'm not able to come to the events that you go to and to the, the gambling places, because it's gambling, if you ask me. It's casino, isn't it? So. Uh, so nigga, the nigga's a cat. So the nigga's a gambler. The, the problem is he's a gambler. And he doesn't know where to stop. Is that what this is? The, the clubs you guys are going to and the money you're spending, some of it is gambling, all right? Because everything he's, he likes to say is constructive. Clubbing is not constructive. It's not beneficial to um, our relationship or to, to him. Even places like that, he places too much emphasis on I can't stop looking at the lace. So you're out here doing the most, buying so many bottles, paying 10K for tables. Oh! Oh! Okay, let's talk business, let's talk business. Let's talk business. So he's spending 10K for a table. I kid you not, me and Josh hasn't even spent 10K on a fucking table. We don't spend that much at all. So it's like, if you hanging out with millionaires, why would they let you spend 10K knowing that you don't have it? That means you're acting like you have it. That's outrageous. I don't even be wanting to spend 1K for a fucking table. Are you just gonna drop 10K and then, and then the next couple of weeks you struggle and make that 10K back? Do you like it? Please say you do. I don't know yet. Cynthia, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. But I will say I am entertained, but I don't know yet. 10K for a table and you don't got money? Bro, that's the other thing. And it doesn't make sense. And I'm at home being neglected. When he comes home, he goes back to work. So my point is, you're putting too much emphasis on the way they see you. Uh -huh. Why is that? You're trying to, you, you're supposed to be impressing me, not them. So the type of people that I deal with, they're on another level, to be fair. They're high net worth and- Okay, so what? They work really hard for themselves. So now, what? For me to be able to kind of be that act of service for them, you can imagine how hard I have to work. If they're calling you, you need to answer. If they're sending you a message, whether it's a text or WhatsApp, listen, you need to be on point. I'm able to give them that okay, service. Okay, that's fine, but like, that's like saying you're a personal assistant to a, a celebrity. Like, oh, you're a personal assistant to Beyonce. You're making money, but I don't think Beyonce is expecting a, 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 an assistant to pay 10K on a table. I don't think she's expecting that. Do you think she's expecting that? I don't think she's expecting that out of the fucking assistant. So it's like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, I get your point of view. Like, you gotta be, you know, on call and you gotta do stuff. But like, you're with millionaires. Ten k is a dollar to them. If not, it's like one cent to them. And you're gonna spend ten k out of your bank. It's gonna affect you more. So I kind of get what she's saying. But it's like, bro, why did you have to do that? Like, you don't have to impress someone. Like, you're working with them. They're not expect. Bro. What the hell is this? So I'm on my way for this social experiment. I'm quite excited. Mm. Um, I'm happy that Jamel is using this initiative and wants us to be part of this. There's a few things that I do want to get on the so it'll be nice to speak to Jamel, speak to the therapist. Her face is not matching excited. her body but, but and it's bothering me. Far? Actually, I okay, live now it's in matching. Um, High Rain Islington, so it was not too bad of a journey, just mm. about 20 minutes. Oh, that's good. So my partner's running late, I apologise. Whose idea to come to the session was it? Uh, it was Jamel's idea, but um, I'm open to it. We got the same hair! Um, you know, I want to see where we can take our relationship because we are, you know, we've been together a year now. So I don't actually understand how Jamel is late. It's bothering me! that has brought me to this. Then millionaire was laughing at him in the group chat like this dumb ass nigga dropped ten k. Bro, dead ass. Like I, I'm not. Bro, look, I know my limit. If I'm going somewhere, and you tell me, oh yeah, you're going to this expensive place, and I know I can't afford that place like that, I'm either not gonna go. I'm gonna openly tell you, look, it's not in my budget right now. Now what you choose to do is up to you. You can't get mad at me. 
But like, bro, 10K? Stop. Like, I'd rather not go to save me the embarrassment. Oh, something came up. I'm so sorry. I can't. Here's your gift. I'm not going to go somewhere. And then, you know, when you go to those restaurants, they be telling you $500 for like two little bites of food. I'm not, You're not going to catch me going there if I can't afford it. Like, if I can't afford something, if I if I don't have the money at least three times on my account, I'm not going. <laughs> I'm not going. This whole thing, and you're late. I'm sitting here, I don't know the lady, I look very stupid, and Jamal is late. Here he is. So I'm late. What the hell? Was the traffic bad? Um, sort of, yeah. Well, you're here now, so that's all that matters. Can Why I just start drive by asking you what brought you? He here is not cute. Who said that? How long have you been together? Do you want to take that? No, ladies first. We've actually been together for a year. Um, I met Jamel at one of his fitness events. They've been here. They've been. They've been together for a year. Anyway, he already looks uninterested. It's been a year. Like, why would you? So my sister also does fitness, so they were doing a class together. Okay. And then we met, we started talking, and then we... Now we're no, if they wake up, I'm not getting so up. I'm he, just going to put the food um, for them. has had therapy before, mm -hmm. and he thought it was really good and helpful, so I feel like that's why I'm open to doing it. And what are you hoping to achieve by the end? What's your goal and Josh should be up, so... coming to therapy? I think to actually set some foundations um, and actually blossom from this beautiful relationship that we've got. Um, we started great. Relationships do have rocky parts, but it's nothing too big, I guess, to get over. Just looking into your background, mm -hmm. uh, have you had many relationships? Mm -hmm. This actually is my first relationship, um, but I have obviously dated in the past. Um, but yeah, this is my first relationship and yeah, going strong a, a year. And what about you, Jamal? This is my fourth relationship. Um, hopefully it's my last one, to be fair, so looking, looking good. Mostly, things are going well, then? I mean, to an extent, um, I think we, there's a lot that we need to work on. An example of today is mm -hmm. Jamal's lateness. I work at 9 to 5, he does fitness, so our time to tables already clash. But whenever we plan to go on, like, date nights or we go to church together um, every two weeks, he's always late. When mm -hmm. I address him, he's unable to communicate and explain, like, why he's late or give me a heads up for being mm -hmm. late. So, yeah, that's, that's a problem for me. I feel like he's always You know what's crazy, though? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say one thing. I'm gonna say one thing, and I know this is gonna sound a little bit judgmental or a little bit nee nee nee. Men care about how they look in the sense that you're gonna go on camera, everybody's gonna see you. It's gonna be on YouTube. When they care, they care, right? Why is that man looking like? Hold on. I address Hold him. On. He's unable to communicate and explain like why he's late or give me a heads up for being late. Why is this man on camera looking like this? Why didn't he get a haircut? Why didn't he fix his hair? Why didn't he? He doesn't care to be here. Like, look at him. For me, I feel like he's always late when it comes to something that we're doing. I don't feel like he respects my time. I don't think Jamal has ever been late to a client's Zoom meeting. But why is it when it's Deborah time, he's late? My time management is not the issue. I feel like it's more down to communication. There's been t several times. Do you communicate that you're going to be late? Of course. What about last week when you were supposed to come to my house? Yes, we changed the time before then. So, Denise, this is the situation. So, um, originally the time was for 8 p.m. Then I realised I double booked. Uh, with another client. So I gave her the up. Uh, yeah, that's already an issue. Mm. We had pre-planned. We had pre-planned that we were going to meet up because as of recent, we haven't been seeing each other as often because Jamal's taken on more clients. Yeah, that's not a problem. But we had pre-agreed that we were going to see each other on this particular day. Why are you double booking? Things happen. Like, I do well, my thing across is, the pond. My, my, thing, my thing with this is also... My thing with this is also, like, when I have plans with someone, I don't mind if you have an emergency and you're telling me, like, oh, yeah, I have something that's happening, like, I can't do it. But if I get ready and you tell me, like, an hour before the time or even two hours before the time of the thing, like, you chose to deliberately decide to do this, knowing that you have that, that irks me. I don't like that. 
Yeah, GG's. No. I hate that. Do you let that gets under your skin. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Okay, so the last time we invited him to have dinner, I communicated with you. He told me five minutes before the time that he's going to be late. That's inappropriate. Deborah just always complained about me being late. Oh my god, I thought she said, I thought he said that bitch. Oh my <laughs> I thought he said that bitch. I, I thought he said that bitch. I I thought he said that bitch. Oh, we gotta hear it again. All the time that he's gonna be late. That's inappropriate. Deborah just always complained about me being late. Like she just does feel like she's been controlling. Like she doesn't take consideration of my time, where I'm coming from, what I'm doing before. She just no. wants to set the time and expects me to get there. They ain't gonna run. Just for the record, how would you like him to change? At the end of the day, I'm, I like, I like mm. his drive, and that's kind of why we're together. Mm. My point is, there needs to be a balance. Mm. I'm happy for you to grind. I'm happy for you to do all the things you do. Mm. But again, we're in a relationship. The, the problem with you is you, you think we're business partners. We're not. I need love as well. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've got a business, I work, but I still feed you, I still love on you, but I don't get it. It's not reciprocated. Right, so, mm. hang on. Paul, do you feel that you're giving as good as you get in the love um, stakes? Well, to be fair, I thought I did, but now I kind of, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, like, does she trust, do, do you trust me? What? Yes or no? I do trust you. Okay. If you trust me and you trust my judgment, and you know that between the both of us, we both got ourselves to the position where we are, which is a better position than we were in. Why would you not continue to trust the process? Because you've eradicated the whole love aspect of our relationship. Ah. I'm a woman. I'm not wood. Mm. Do you understand? Like, I've got heart. Now, this is the problem that I have with women, right? Like, well, woman. for example, with Trauma and I, when we first started, she knows I'm hardworking. I was doing X, Y, Z, what Trauma. I had to do, OK? Everything was fine. She was happy I've got a hardworking guy. Oh, okay, hug, kiss. Okay, cool. Nowadays, when I'm coming back late, the same person's complaining, asking me, where am I coming from? And I'm thinking, what? Fair enough, I don't work overtime and I'm doing other things on a different level, but I'm the same person, so why would you question it? Can I just ask, what's the, the last loving thing you did for uh, Denise, Denise? Yeah, Denise. Look, we're not going to play the whole uh, turn each other against each other. When's the last time you bought flowers? Look, forget about all of that. Let's get down to what it is now. Just, but just... what it is is she just said she wants more of that. And you just said that's not what it is. He j she just said that's what it is. Ain't nobody turning against each other. Cause he knows he hasn't done it. Like, it's that, what it is is she wants more of the, mm, and the uh, 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 you know? And you just said, no, no. Just to briefly go over this, right? Um, as far as I understand, she literally just openly you've communicated. Been called or employed, rather, to basically help us in our relationship to get better, right? Okay. So, Is how he the do therapist you think now? you're doing so far? What the okay. fuck? Um, don't be rude. I'm no, 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 it's it's a genuine you? question. That's uncalled for. It's a genuine question. Okay, I can answer that, Shema, don't worry. The fact is that I'm what here the fuck to is wrong with you to see through the fog that may be there at the moment. I'm not here to give you an answer. I'm just helping you discover what's going on. Okay, okay, okay. What's your success rate in terms of the <laughs> couples that have been to your therapy sessions and have gone on to get married? Well, it, I think you've already done your research. I did research and I found out that a lot of people gave you good reviews. Um, a lot of them have actually gone on to get married. A lot of them have resolved their situation. Um, be open-minded. I feel like people get results from you if they're open-minded. Babe, babe, she didn't, she didn't answer the question. What's your success rate? I need percentages. I deal with figures. Let's, let's, let's. I'm afraid I don't work in figures. I work in people. And when people Read that nigga to filth. Because they're seeing results. So as far as I'm concerned, um, things are working. So if, if we came back it's to your session, that, because that I, means it's just, working. Well, you sign up for a certain number of sessions, and then we discuss whether you need to oh, do... Oh, so there's more than one? Um, he's being very rude, and I really don't understand why. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. I am so embarrassed. That is embarrassing. This man, this is a disgusting man. He's chatting. He, he's turning it, because what happened is she hit a nerve when she asked, when was the last time he did something loving for the woman? And he got... He got, <laughs> he's upset because he can't think. And now he's upset. Like, 
she's just doing her job. Bro. I'm quite happy with the service we're getting so far. So I don't. He's know why triggered he, as fuck. He, calm down he just bit. proved the point. I'm getting irritated at this point. You're being very dismissive. No, 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 no. no, no. At the end of the day, Paul is making me feel less than. Oh. Okay. Um, he's very judgmental with the whole image thing. So <laughs> if I don't do, if I don't do uh. what he does, then there's a problem. Uh. One thing I'm not gonna continue to do is be with a man, not saying that I wanna leave this relationship, but I can't continue to be in a relationship with someone who makes me feel less than or makes me feel like I'm in the wrong okay. every single All time. he had to do was answer um, a question. Okay. If we're both kind of in line Okay, in terms of guess what he's about to do? He's about to say, you're doing something wrong. He's about to uno revert. He's about to uno reverse this shit. Then I would assume that we'd both basically be on the same page. Is, is that wrong, Denise? No, no it's good when, when couples are on the same page, but are you on the same page? Are you Oscar? I'm asking both of you, do you think the you're on the same page? I feel as though I don't like her talking. are on the same page with certain things, but again, as much as Paul says I like to nag, he has a lot of issues with things that I do. Me and Jamal argue Bro, if people, all the time. if people nag, it's because there's something to nag about. The only reason why people call shit nagging is because the shit is being repeated over and over again, meaning that the person that becomes the nagger is because they're telling you and you're not doing it. Now, if somebody tells you something and you fix it, you know, the first or two times, it wouldn't be nagging because it wouldn't be repeated. It wouldn't be considered nagging if you just don't do it again. That's the thing. So that's what I think it is. But it's like... I don't understand it. And the thing is, the lady asked one question, and the question was not answered. And now this man is triggered for no reason because he knows that what she's saying is true and he refuses to answer it, which is stupid. Like, why would you go to therapy if you're not open for the therapy? about his phone and social media he's literally in love with social media there's this new app called clubhouse i don't know if you've heard about it I heard about this clubhouse. guy loves the app so much i actually wish the app was not invented i would call jamel after a long day and we haven't spoken for a whole day and he has clubhouse in the background like he'd literally call me on his macbook so that we can, he can have clubhouse in the background and then we'll have a separate conversation. Like, that's just, that's just too much. How does that make you feel when you've got clubhouse going and you're on the phone as well? I mean, if I haven't spoken to you all day, like, am I not important? Like, you know that I go bed early, so I'm literally gonna take 20 minutes of your time. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. But he, he has to have clubhouse in the background. He has to be on stage. Everyone has to hear Jamel's <laughs> voice. Like, it's really not that deep. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's that he's craving female attention. Am I not giving him enough attention? This guy always wants to be on stage. What are you chasing? What are you looking for? I don't understand. She's it's looking really for the clubhouse honeys, nigga. What you mean? Bro, the thing I've been realizing about guys, like, guys really do like a good podcast. <laughs> Y'all niggas really like a good podcast, okay? So I just listen to mm. it as like background noise. No, you don't. You're always uh, on stage and you always have to make one comment yeah, or I'm another. On stage, but it doesn't mean I always comment to them. Regardless of the fact. Is Deborah listen to me when in your life? Not more than Deborah. No, I don't agree. <laughs> please ask that question honestly, please. I said it. I said so it. Clubhouse I is less important friend. than me? No, you are more important than Clubhouse. Mm. That's facts. I don't really agree, but that's fine. You know what they say, it's a safe space. So it's an app full of fun and work, I guess. But I don't think it's about Clubhouse. I feel like Deborah just... Nigga was on Clubhouse listening to macaroni time. Nigga was on Clubhouse listening to macaroni time, OK? But she just needs to relax. I think she's getting a bit jealous, maybe. How much time do you actually spend together? I think when we first started the relationship, we were seeing each other quite often, obviously. Times have changed and shifted, and obviously our work schedules have gone busy. Um, but now it's... Do you think you make time for me? Yes, I do make time for you. As I said, like, within reason, within our time schedules, obviously she knows mine, I've given her my rotor. Um, she knows when I'm busy and when I'm not, so you can obviously bob and weave in between. So just explain to me what a typical working day for you is. Cool, so obviously, as I said before, obviously I'm across the pond, so I cover eight different countries. Um, do you have an issue? 
No, but it's like you keep saying you cover eight different countries. We get it. Like sometimes you wake up at 6 a.m., sometimes you wake up at. We understand. There we go. So obviously, I'm in different time zones, I'm in different mm. body clocks. So mm. I do get tired easily. Um, and obviously, I'm exhausting a lot of energy. So I'm a personal trainer, nutritionist, and a brand marketer. Do you feel that you make time for Deborah? Most certainly. Mm. I don't think he does. Um, when we first got together, we were seeing each other up to three times a week. Mm. Now it's like once every two weeks. For me, I don't know if you want to spend time with me or not, but for me, that's like, what, what is the relationship? I'm going to see you once every two weeks. Okay. I have a comment about this, okay? This is, this is, this actually, if this is fake, I feel like the situation and scenarios in here are real life stuff, okay? This is the thing with relationships. When you're courting a girl, courting, courting, that word. When you are trying to get a girl and you're trying to date a girl and you want the girl to be your girlfriend, this is what I think. Whatever effort you put in to courting and getting that girl, when you get that girl, I'm not saying to go 110% like you were going, you were doing, but you have to keep courting that woman. It's not like you, you, you know, it's not like they're going to stop loving and stuff. You have to try to at least give them time okay sometimes things might happen over the time and they're like that's not enough yeah people go through up and down and, and their mindset is not the same you know balancing is hard it is but you have to at least show an effort you have to communicate that with them like if you're going through something or somebody passed away yeah of course you're not going to be able to give them that 100 percent attention but you have to communicate that with them you have to let them know that oh yeah look I know I'm normally this, but something's going on with me right now. I'm just trying to, you know, you have to make that little effort. You, you know gotta make I mean? the effort. I love quality time, and you know that. Yeah. And at the start of the relationship, that was what was happening. But obviously now there has been a shift, and that is what I don't like. Okay. So Paul, just give me a little bit of your background. What what business are you in? Yeah, answer the question, babe. So what does my business have to do with the... What the fuck is wrong with this? Well, he's... I just wondered, you know, whether that was influencing the way I'm that you provider. deal with life. Sorry? I'm a provider. What does that mean? What is it that you do? I don't understand. Just... Well, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see how this is going to help our relationship in the long term. This, this is the problem that I have, right? Look, with this Denise lady, I just feel like she's just asking lots of intrusive questions that doesn't really relate to the it's situation. It's fucking therapy. Answer so the goddamn question. What do I do? Like I make money. That's what I do. Like, Doing what? It's a silly question. What, what do you want from me? Do you understand? You're here for a certain purpose to help with the relationship. Do that. If you can't do that, then you're not of use for me. The, the whole point is she's here, right? And I got her here. We've been together for three years. You got me here. No, well, not here okay. specifically, but I mean, you know, in terms of the journey. But she needs to leave that man. For a long time, I've managed to sustain our relationship. Um, not actually, not enough. The you're asking. Bro, no. the other thing, the other thing I want to say, okay, I keep pausing, it's because I've had my relationship, I have things, I've had relationships with family and stuff. In general, since I, I feel like I understand like human, humans in a way, and I'm going to say this, all right, he's. <sighs> Don't go to therapy. If you can't handle therapy, humans, <laughs> don't go to therapy. If you can't handle therapy, don't get triggered by stuff. Like you knew this was going to happen and you came and hold on. You see how he said relationship, um, financially, when you get in a relationship, it's literally emotionally, financially, physically, mentally, all the above in a relationship. You can't just take care of financial and forget the mental, the, the fucking... You can't forget the other fours. You can't forget everything else. Because you bringing money to the, the table doesn't mean that your woman is happy. You could be the richest person and you buying them Dior, this, this, and that. And that person is not a materialistic-ass person. They don't care about that shit. And they're unhappy. Like, money brings happiness to a certain extent. It brings happiness to certain people, and then after years of having it, it's just not, it's not, it's not whatever, it's whatever, you know? He's thinking he's doing everything for the relationship financially. What about the emotional part? This woman is an emotional-ass woman. Like, 
like just because you you, you don't know but just because you of course I would rather not have the stress of knowing when is rent due and I'm going to have to... I'd rather not have that. But if I'm going to be in a relationship like this and I'm st- stressed like that, I'd rather just have it back. Because it's like I'm still stressed anyway. Like, because you bring money to the table and now I don't... I, it's like you work, 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 and then I don't get anything. What's the point? What's the point? If you're in a relationship and you feel single, why are you here? Like... Having money doesn't really do anything. Some women, yes, they're fine with it. I, I'm not going to speak for all women, like I said. But the art of balance, exactly. exact. That's exactly that. Like, you can't just, just like, yeah, I'm, I'm bringing money to the table. Like, they're fine. No. It's good. But you tell him you couldn't take one time of your time. You couldn't even answer when you... Bro, he's pissing me off. Yeah, that's the question you're asking. No, I wasn't. I was simply wondering Mm -hmm. uh, what motivated you and how you work together. Without telling you too much, um, I literally work with with individuals, um, influencers, celebrities, you name it. Provide them with basically um, nutrition as well as fitness. Um, So you're a personal trainer? I also business, which, um, you know, I work with potentially, well, well, really influencers, brands. Yeah, more of the upscale. So why couldn't he just answer that? Why couldn't he just say that? Instead of being mad defensive, why couldn't he just say, like, I do, I'm a nutritionist, I train people, and I work with brands. Like, why wouldn't he, like, why can't he just say that? And then the fact that he's just like, upscale, upscale, celebrities, upscale, upscale, like. Basically. So you're a very busy man. I am. Even if there's nothing to do, Paul will tell his friends he's do. Oh, I'm just, I've just done some. No, you haven't. Like, chill, relax. Like, you're not busy 24/7. Even the busiest person has time, Paul. And do you do anything together? Any, you know, hobbies mm-hmm. that you do together? Aside from on our laptops in the same room, maybe. When we started dating, we used to like the same music. He was more fun. Now he's, I don't, I don't even know who's sitting next to me, to be honest. And mm. how do you feel? I don't either. I think that's BS. It's BS. Look, music, I'm a Burner Boy fan. You, you, you used to be, but now you're I still like Burner Boy. Whiz kid, like, that doesn't make sense. If you, if you like something, just stick to, you know. <laughs> I don't like this nigga, bro. <laughs> Oh, I'm not allowed to, I'm not allowed to like somebody else. Like, I'm not allowed to, I, I can't add to the roster. I like Butter Boy. I like Whiskey too. Like, what do you mean? I like me some Scissor. Does it mean I'm not gonna listen to some Summer Walker? Like, so because I like Butter Boy, I'm supposed to listen to Butter Boy the whole time and no other Afrobeat person. Like, I'm supposed, oh, I'm supposed to say no to Davido or Davido, whatever, however you guys say it. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to just, oh yeah, Butter Boy, Butter Boy, Butter Boy, Butter Boy. Oh, changed, babe. You, you, you didn't like what you liked five years ago. I know that because of the food. Simply the food that you eat, mm. okay? So people change. I still like Burner Boy, but I, yes, I prefer Whiskey. It doesn't mean that it has to be your way. Mm. This is a problem Read that negative feel. If it's not your way, it's the highway. No, this is the problem with you. You don't keep the same energy. Do you understand? When we first started dating, you know what type of energy... Oh, wait, doing. so if Burner Boy... Okay, I'm not going to say Burner Boy because I like Burner Boy. So if a celebrity falls off... I was Look... Let me shut up. Let me shut up. You know the frequency that I was taking us. I want to know where she's at right now. Asked us, what do we do together aside from work that that is meaningful? Is that what you said? Let me tell you what we do. Right, every uh, twenty eight days we have a couples review. Right. Oh. So how hell. the couples review works is we basically you know go over um, our individual and um, collective plans, goals, targets, and we kind of you know check, make like a checkbox type of situation. I don't think you've been making your checks, man. Up. Um, help each other out with whatever it is that we need help with and it's it's worked basically in our relationship it has, it has not worked because why are you here I said before obviously nice five i'm also mm. fitness guy yeah okay well fitness instructor brand manager because he hates when i don't say it properly all of that mm. so i have meetings all day and so sometimes when jamel messages me i can't message him back as soon as so his timetable i'll say it's more flexible than mine i would message jamel 
um, and then he would message me back and then you know I wouldn't respond in another two hours and I know this guy's on his phone like I literally saw him on Instagram but because I had taken ages because I was busy to message him he would basically be matching my messages and take another two hours to message him. <laughs> that is so that nigga is petty Woo! bro Cynthia you got me triggered with this I, I, I don't know why you did this but hi panda Bro, why you do that? Them niggas, bro, they've been together for two, I mean, a year. Like, like in the beginning of the relationship, yeah, I don't want to seem too eager and stuff. I get it, but like. So childish. That is very, is that not childish? So wait, I'm being childish. Is that not childish? Do you or wait, do you not match my message? You're assuming that I do that. Oh, wait, hold on. Did I not see you on Instagram earlier that day that I messaged you? I double texted wait, you and that? said. Sorry, did you not see my message? Did I not? Yeah, so that means you're monitoring my Instagram. No, that's not... What I'm trying to say is, you match my messages. It's very childish. Okay, cool. So why didn't you respond to me for two hours? I'm busy with clients. I'm not No, on my phone. no, because you said I have your timetable. And okay. yes, I do. Yeah. You wasn't on with a client at that time. Yes, I was. Okay. Like, it's ridiculous. So childish. Like, Matt If Matt's mum was uh, doing something, Mick, yeah, listen, it, he do... would just admit it's not that serious. We're not going to do comparisons. Matt's boyfriend, we speak a I'm lot, as alone. you know. Wait, me Who and Matt speak a lot, master? isn't it? Like, she told me that when she addresses a situation, he's able to acknowledge it and he just moves on. Do you get what I mean? I couldn't care less about your boy, your friend's boyfriend, this, this, and that, brother. Well, whatever. maybe you should chat to him a bit more. How about this? Yeah, don't compare me. Like, I've had enough of I hate being compared your, though. Your friends, that's the six, that's yeah. the worst. That's that's the worst thing. Comparing people, I don't care if it was your boyfriend, your friend, your best friend. Don't compare me to nobody, bro. Like if you want to get your point across, find a different analogy. Don't tell me, but so and so does this. I will look at you and I will literally take it as an attack. And then now we're not talking no more because what the fuck is going on? understand and that took me what like i'm happy to i'm happy to speak about our sex life i'm happy to speak about things that we why the fuck are you talking about your sex life and that's the other thing that's the other thing you never know anybody you can be best friends with someone for years okay and you over there talking about dick is good dick is good dick 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 you do something to them you piss them off something like i'm gonna get my leg back and i'm gonna try to see if this dick is really good like she said and now what? You think I want to hear you, how you have sex with your... I don't want to hear that shit. My friends know not to tell me about that shit. I don't think I've ever had one of my friends describe a private part. Because the moment you start telling me, so we... Shut the fuck up. I'm hanging up. I don't want to hear that shit. That shit made me uncomfortable. That's my girl. Yeah, like... Do you, like... I I'm happy. And how does that make you feel, knowing that she's talking to this friend of hers? It just sounds like my girlfriend's a chatty patty. I don't like... <laughs> speaking too, too much. Like, I hear she's your Yo, friend. Yo, you got called a chatty patty. That's about myself, especially my family life. And then you're talking about... Family life? Yeah, family life. What, what, what was it about, um, so about your family? Yeah, so let me just put some context into it. So she spoke about a situation between me and my mother. Oh, my um, gosh. We've had a bit... Are you actually going to bring up that situation Yeah, here? I'm going to bring it back up. Okay. So, yeah, me and my mum, we have a bit of a... What did I say? Here and there, relationship sort of thing. So she's gone to her, her friend, Mansa, um, and just told her about the situation. I'm thinking it has nothing to do with your friends. Was, yeah, you I just like to talk. Her. Like, shut the fuck up. Denise, I wasn't telling her about the situation. I was just telling her how it was affecting me and Jamel. That's what I was saying. And what advice did she give you? She just said, like, that you're moving out soon. You know, it's just general chit chat. Like, why do you care yeah, about my conversation with Matt? Yeah, why chit -chat? are you am saying just, that shit? Like, genuine chit chat. Bro, if I have an issue with any of my family or boyfriend's family, you're not gonna know that shit. That's that's for me to know and, and people to never find out. Like, what the fuck is this? Like, what is that? Why would you tell what okay, it's affecting you. Why would you like the way she talks, you can tell she's telling private stories. Like she she chats. Like, I don't like that. I don't like it. They're doing this, he's doing that, and you know he's the Shut up. You need to understand that. Am I oh are you the shade bar now? Okay, that's childish. <laughs> I literally do not. She's childish too. Like really what? He's childish, but she's relationship. Like it's what girls do. It's no, we, we do don't. How we like to communicate. We like to share with our besties. Like. No, no, hell no. My 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 girls think. 
I'm a pure woman, okay? I'm pure. I don't, sex, what is that? Is that some kind of sauce? Is that, what is that? I've never heard of it. I've never heard of it. We don't talk about that. We talk about traveling. We talk about clothes. We don't talk about niggas. Mansa likes to hear my stories and I like to hear hers. I think Jamel probably has an issue with it because he's not acting right. If he was doing <laughs> it's just like, like it's happening tomorrow. This is in the back of my head, bro. Then maybe he wouldn't mind me telling Mansa. So uh, in this checkup, are you both, as they say, on the same page? Of course. Um, we're, we're on oh, the same hold page on, hold on. I'm going to just say this. When I went to Dante's wedding and he was doing that thing for Danielle to take that shit out, I was over there cheering, but in my brain, I was like, oh my God, I can't watch. Oh my God, I can't watch. I'm like, whoa, I can't watch, I can't watch. Bro. Because all Paul cares about is if our finances have grown, if our savings has grown. Aside from that, if we're still arguing, nothing changes. Do you understand? If, if it's the point that I'm cleaning up the whole damn house, as well as having a nine to five and a business, nothing's changed. He doesn't have an input in personal stuff. It's just mm. about work, 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 work. So if it's about working, then I understand, yeah, the review right. works. So tell me, Paul, before you got involved with Shoma, how did you oh my god household? hold on no. moving on i'm um, not talking about this anymore everything was self um, sustainable self-managed mm. however at the end of the day i think the question that you should be asking choma is if she is getting into a relationship with a person like myself i don't want to say bring it to the table but what am i bringing to the table no, I'm, not, I'm not saying that you don't bring anything to the table i'm saying you need to let her know that there's certain things that are expected when Leave that she's man. receiving, you know, a certain of certain frequency. Okay, so that... First of all, I contribute to the bills. Um, I'm doing my own. I take care of myself. Of course, he buys me things, but I'm going out to shop for myself. I'm also taking care of the home and him. Yeah, he might do most of the finance, but I'm bringing a lot to your life. And without me, you will be in deficit. You'll be lacking some things. Okay. Let's not get confused. I work. Okay. Paul does not finance me completely. Does that make sense? Yes, he earns significantly more than I do, but he doesn't finance me. All right. So mm. if you're talking about me becoming a housewife, clearly, because you're talking about finances and me what's, bringing what's something to the table, what's wrong with being a housewife? Was, was that was that the plan we had when we first met? It's a genuine question. I don't want to be a housewife. There's nothing wrong with it, but I don't want to be a housewife. I have a choice. Does that make sense? If I wanted to be a housewife, I would have become a housewife. That's what you keep pushing for me to do. That's not what I want to do, babe. Okay. Okay? Denise, Denise. He used to clean Hi, his own me. house and change his sheets and cook for himself. We just moved in together six months ago, and all of a sudden, that has now become my duty and mine alone. Bearing in mind... Both of I'm not going to lie to you. You love my crochet bathing suit? I'm going to sell them soon. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's not get this shit confused. Nothing is wrong with being a housewife. It's women that thrive to be a housewife. It's women that wants to be, um, you know, taken care of. Okay? Nothing wrong with being taken care of. Right now, I feel like even though I do my contribution and things, I am being taken care of, care of. If I wanted to stop working and stop doing stuff, I don't think Josh would have any issues with that. Because at the end of the day, we had a conversation. And he told me that all he cares about is that I'm doing stuff that makes me happy. Now, if I'm doing things that make me happy and I make money off of it, he doesn't care. Okay? He even gave me the trust, like, yo, you don't have to do, like, I can take care of you, like, whatever. You don't have to do, like, these things. You don't have to worry about stuff. I choose to do my stuff because it's just me. It's just what I want to do. Now, it'd be different. Now, if I'm expected to be a housewife, there's certain things that's, supposed to be you know set because having a big house or even having a house it's a lot of stuff that you have to take care of and i get that she doesn't want that responsibility and she feels like having a job is you know better than handling the house but at the end of the day if the man used to cook clean and do stuff for himself josh doesn't treat me like a maid because right now he's saying it like i'm not saying that he's calling her a maid but at the end of the day just because you move with someone doesn't mean that whatever you used to do you need to stop doing it because at the end of the day it's tiring on that person too. Could you imagine? You used to live to you. You used to live in a house separate with someone. You used to take care of your stuff. They used to take care of the stuff. You move in together, and now you have to take care of two people's loads. And then when you have a kid, you have to take care of that man and the children. Like it's a lot that goes into being a housewife. People think that yeah, you sit in there, you don't have to work. Yeah, you have to work. You're 24 hours on call, and specifically when you have a child. So it's like if she doesn't want to do that, she doesn't want to do that. He shouldn't see anything wrong with it. I don't think, you know. I don't think it's anything wrong. 
with that. I don't. If you want to be a housewife, go ahead and be it. But people look at housewives like they don't do anything. Can you, you, you can you see yourself sitting down to clean the house, bro? For me to clean this house, it takes me like four days. I have to do it in sections because it's so much. You're 24 hours on call with that shit. You have to you have to wake up at a certain time. You have to cook. You have to clean. You have to clean the floors every single day. You have to make sure everything is done. You have to go pick up this because it's a lot that comes into that. And I'm I'm literally here and I do these things and I know. And Josh has seen it. Yeah, he tells y'all, yeah, sometimes he he door dashes. And some people are like, ain't your girlfriend gonna do that for you? No, he doesn't see me as a fucking robot. He does he sees me as a human being if i'm tired and i can't cook he's not gonna tell me well financially i'll bring stuff to the table so you have to cook he doesn't do that this nigga look like the type to do this shit like he looks like the type to do that shit us are busy now with myself mm. i'm an earner do you understand i will go out and i will come back and i'm bringing the bacon for real do you understand if that's the case and i'm able to provide for the both of us and kids in the future from now why would she stress herself being out trying to earn the same thing that I already have because it makes her Sit happy down. you Let's understand you understand something I want to say I feel like even if I ever became a housewife I would still have to make my own money at the time you know how weird I feel to ask people for money like I don't think I've ever openly actually I'm not gonna say ever I think I've asked Josh to get me one thing once do y'all know how bad it sounded? Jordan and his cousin was there and they looked at me and they were like, why do you sound like you're crying? It was embarrassing. And it wasn't more so like, can, I was like, I really like this, babe. Can you get this for me? And these niggas, they were like, why you sound like you're crying? Because I felt weird asking. I felt weird saying that. I felt weird. Like, if someone just buys some shit for me, then they just buy it. I, I have to have some type of money. Okay? Now, if they choose to put money in my account, that's different. I'm not asking for it. You put it there, then I'm gonna use it. You know, I'm either gonna save it for something or whatever, not touch it, whatever. But, I have this man's card in my hands 24-7. And I still don't use it to buy my shit. I use it to, to buy house stuff and other things. Like, I don't know. Like, He's. <sighs> oh, something. I would have come home with a check and say, babe, how should we invest this? And d did you notice that things Whatever. have changed once Shoma moved in? Um, in terms of how I behave. You became or... lazy. No, no, no. Let's, let's, not, let's not be toxic, babe. Look, th th this is what it let's is. Let's not like. be uh, toxic. How can I put this? If I, let's say, last client finished by like 9 30. So, okay, whereabouts am I? Um, the Bulgari. Night bridge, right? Ten minutes from home. So, you know, Trommel works in the city. Twenty minutes. From 30, home. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes from home. Um, so if she gets home, she finishes at five roughly, and you know, she's home roughly, maybe not five thirty, you know, traffic or that. Maybe six. And I get home nine thirty. Do you don't you have you made a plan? Don't you think it's a bit practical to kind of um, consider that your partner may be coming home. But, but, but wait. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. He needs to shut the fuck up. Literally, I have no issues with people like this. But he needs to understand he's not with a girl that's like that. And second of all, if he used to live by himself, it doesn't matter if he got to have a job at 12, 1 a.m., whatever time it is, he would have found time to do these shits. Nobody's telling him to get out of the, the job and doing it right away. He could do it the next day when he has time. He could do it whenever. Like. This is, this is for you, Denise. Do you think that, you know. I can understand what you're saying. Mm. And there does seem to be. A I hear him, but I despair. don't. However. No, um, no, 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 don't do it. Tell her, tell her that. No, I, if... I'm not here to tell anyone, just so you understand. I'm here to listen. You just agreed with what I said. No, it's not a case you're of agreeing. I said I understand. No, 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 she... no, no get, get, get out of this man. He's not, he's a works, stubborn though, ass man in the wrong way. We discuss things, and I'm an intermediary. So I don't. But that's, that's, that's not what's happening. What's happening is, if she comes up with a point, you're quick to say, oh, yeah, Paul, what do you think about it? Only and then when, when, I, when you clearly agree with me on something, you're not what asking the her the same question. Right. What's going so on? So can I just say, bear with me, the reason that I go to you with a question right. is because you're not being vocal. Shoma is being very vocal. You're being vocal now, but the reason I was bringing everything back to you was because you weren't being vocal. And it's great to hear that now you have got things Hi, to say because that's why we're here, is it not? 
What the hell? Like, are you trying to gang up on me on something? I'm paying for your service. You should serve it equally. Do you understand? That's not what you want. You want her to be on your side. See the way that you both react. Can you see that Hi, you're reacting Jen. to each other? Yeah, it's like every it's time I say something, he always has a rebuttal. Like, you never acknowledge what you do. You're late, Ooh, you you're do? childish, you take two hours to respond to my messages, and you're having, you have an issue with the conversation that I have with my friends. How would you like him to change in the way that he deals with you? What would you like to see different? Okay, um, I would like for Jamal to actually listen to me when I speak, for one. I would like you to take accountability and try and fix the things that I point out, because it's small things, it's very tiny, and I feel like we could move past it if you just accept the fact that sometimes you can be childish, yeah, and sometimes you're late, that's it. Is there anything that... Um, you want to respond to with regards Most to certainly. Deborah? I, I feel like just do not compare me. Like, no one likes being compared. How would you like if I compared you to what, one of my best friends? Well, if you were behaving, then maybe I wouldn't behaving. be comparing you to other Am I, people. Wait, are you my mum? There's things <laughs> that you do that. Yeah, she's losing, like, she's, she's losing me. She's losing me. She's losing me. She told me what her boyfriend's doing is even raising the bar even higher. Really because do. why is she doing it? She did it again. Oh my fuck. She just did it again. She just did it. Again. She's not listening. She's not, bro. This is the thing. I want to tell you this right now. You hear all these people on the internet telling y'all, communication, communication is key. Communication and understanding is key. They go together. This is, it's like this. If you don't, if you communicate and it's not understood, you're doing a whole lot of little, 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 and nope, no, no. You have to communicate and, and understand it. You can't fucking, she's, Bro, like, he literally just communicated, don't fucking compare me to people. And she just did that bullshit. Like, why would you do that? Like, she's pissing me off. I can't. Like, you can do that too. So your friend has a boyfriend that... that like, what is this? A relationship show off? We're of the same age range. Her boyfriend is about his age as well. Who gives There's a fuck? That he's doing for her, like taking her out weekly, you know, buying her gifts, all these sort of things. I'm going to look at my know. relationship as well and evaluate it. That's, That's just ridiculous. it. And I'm just bringing it That's to That's ridiculous. Mind. Yes, he's right. And hopefully he can work on it. Not that. Nigga wants to date. Technically, what you're saying is you want to date your, 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 your best friend's boyfriend. Like... Like, I'm sorry, I'm going to do the same shit that she does because why are you comparing? You don't know where the person came from. You don't know what their situation is. They're two different beings, two different personality. Like, just because... So if, if your best friend's dating a millionaire, you're going to expect your boyfriend to be a millionaire? Like, what is wrong with this woman? It's an issue. I hear her point and I hear his point, but right now... I can see why his energy is like this and he don't care because he already knows no matter what he says, she's going to take it and compare. She's going to compare. She's not hearing anything. She's, 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 she's not hearing him. Like, I feel like he actually hears her, but she's so, like, stubborn and, and deaf that he's just like, I don't give a fuck anymore. Like, I'm just going to, you know, I, I, don't, I don't care. Why would I put an effort? What I really like about Mansa's boyfriend is that he's proactive. He doesn't have to be told what to do. If Mansa wants gifts, if Mansa wants a meal, he's already on it before she has to say. And Jamel really needs to take a leaf. Okay, then go date Mansa's Mansa's boyfriend. The hell is wrong with her? Like whatever that man is, go date that man. Go date that man. Go date that damn man. Go date him. Leave that woman. Leave her alone. Up his book. Does Jamal ever buy you gifts? Oscar. Um, I mean, at the beginning of the relationship, um, in fact, no, before we got together, actually, he did what? buy me gifts. What? Um, but now it's definitely dropped. I don't really get much. Um, even like flowers or like chocolate, you know. Is that a problem for you? This is giving me, you know what this is giving me? This is giving me if Jane has two apple and Mark has one, what is the color of the sky? Or how many, like, what is this? This is literally what this is giving right now. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it. That, that's literally, that's literally what this is giving me right now. Like, I don't understand. I don't, I don't get it. This is one of those questions I, I just don't get. Like, I'm, I'm upset. I'm upset. And this is, 
Bro, it's literally one minute fucking left, and I'm just upset. They can't just end it like that. They can't end it like this. What's the end of this? Yeah, 100%. I love gifts, and um, that's just, like, my love language, and Jamal knows that. So, at the start of the relationship, me and Jamal went on so many dates. He was treating me like a princess. We were going out on dates. He was buying me gifts. You know, we were spending a lot of quality time together. But now, Jamal is the complete opposite. He's completely fallen off, and it's like he doesn't care. Like, Deborah's love language is a bit confusing sometimes. Me, personally, I think it's wishy-washy. Like, one minute, it's giving gifts. Next minute it's quality time. Like, I understand it could be both of them at the same time, but one thing is always outweighing the other. I don't mind it, but I'd rather like, go towards the quality time right now, obviously because of my personal things I'm doing. 